Society publicizes and promotes sex, but we don't actually talk about it. Burke's Teens Matter is here to change that. Although the national rate of teen births has significantly decreased, it is still a pressing issue within our own community. Reading's teen birth rate is 2.5 times higher than Pennsylvania's. Our goal is to reduce teen pregnancy by 40% in Berks County by 2022. In order to reach this goal, we must first reduce the stigma surrounding sex. Our seventh Let's Talk video features Monica Reyes, who worked for Senator Judy Swank at the time of this video recording. She is now the Health and Human Services Program Officer at Berks County Community Foundation. It's time to have the talk. How did you first learn about sex? Uh, I don't remember exactly when I learned about it. Um, I would, it definitely wasn't for my parents. Probably TV um, is, is, is how I learned about it. Um, and then everything after that I learned from friends. Did you ever approach your parents with questions about sex? No. No, I never felt comfortable approaching them. Um, it was kind of a taboo thing to talk about um, growing up. So uh, I was, I grew up in a very conservative Catholic um, household. So sex talk and anything related um, wasn't talked about at all. So even to this day, I feel somewhat uncomfortable um, with my mother. We don't talk about sex, but just any sexual health related information. It seems like now that I'm older and I approach her to ask her certain questions, she's, she's very willing and forthcoming to give me the information. So I w sometimes I wish I would have just came up to her sooner um, because she's, she seems very forthcoming anytime I do have any questions. What is a good age to start having the conversation? Personally, I think maybe around puberty. So um, maybe 10 through 13 age. I think that's when I first started to, started thinking of questions that I would want to ask my mom. Um, but I just didn't around that time period. Do you wish your parents would have been more open to talk about it? Well, I, I definitely wish they would have been more open. Um, in the future, if I, if, when I do have kids, I definitely will start the conversation because I, I know that I wanted them to talk to me about it. So um, I know how important it is to, to get a parent's perspective and it's just more reliable information coming from parents. Why do you think it's hard for parents to talk to their kids about sex? I think it's all a generational thing since, you know, their parents didn't talk to them. They're, they feel uncomfortable having the conversation with their own kids. So my plan is to break that cycle. What is one misconception about sex that you had when you were younger? I think there's a misconception among teens when I was growing up that the bad thing about having sex is getting pregnant, but I think there's so many STDs. I think I think a lot of people look at at STDs and, and HIV and, and think it's it won't happen to me, or they might not know anyone that has an STD, or they might not know that they have one. Growing up, how were those who experienced the consequences of sex affected? You know, when they when they had STDs, they were a lot more careful. My friends that that were teen parents. I really learned a lot from them and what the struggles are and how hard it is to be a teen parent. That Do you think the teen birth rate is a problem in Reading? I think it is, definitely. It's uh, higher than, than the rest of the county, so I think it's an issue that we really need to, to focus on and try to, to try to address. I think people, people might think that it is a problem. I don't think they, they know the severity of it and how much higher it is compared to, to the county and, and the state. I, I think... The teenagers also might not know how, how big of a problem it is in the city or in the county. Follow us on social media to stay informed and view all the videos from our Let's Talk series.